<laughs> Welcome to nightlenses.com chat where we chat to night lens wearers to, to find out what it's all about for those who are interested in in uh, getting into night lenses. So uh, yeah, look, we've got Jacob Lenine today. Uh, you might recognise the name. He's from uh, Rugby Royalty. Uh, he's got a famous dad, Sean, uh, who obviously played centre for Scotland. So uh, so that's the first question, I guess, Jacob. You know, you grew up in a rugby family. Uh, I guess football was out of the question straight into rugby, right? There was never a football in the household. There was never a football. It was always rugby in the back garden. I was lucky enough. I am lucky enough to have a brother. So yeah, every every day we just, you know, pass the ball. Yeah, lucky enough that I was kind of forced into rugby at an early age, so I didn't really have a choice. But yeah, love the game. Love uh, the sport. And uh, look, what, what position what position do you end up playing? So I play wing fullback, so back three. Yeah. The right. guy that just, just always tries in the wing, that guy. So yeah. your dad your dad wasn't saying, Oh, come on, we need you more in the centres there. Or you go, actually I'm too fast for no. my dad. Uh yeah, I don't think I don't think I was big enough be in the centre to be honest um, I think my dad if he played now he'd be on the wing as well he wasn't a very big centre uh, right? no I'm very much happy in the back three Bam. And, uh, and so look you got into rugby um, which is great and so where, where are you at the moment so you sort of progressed through and, and you know what sort of level to get to and what, what's the plan with rugby now yeah so back in Scotland I played um, age grade Scottish rugby and then after that I kind of wanted to live abroad for a bit so I moved to Sydney I'd been playing for one of the local Sydney clubs, Eastern Suburbs, for the past year and playing again this season as well. And the aim is just keep progressing. Just, yeah, just hopefully if I play well enough, just see where it goes and, yeah, just see for the foreseeable. Fab, fab. Um, and look, and so we're, we're talking about night lenses, obviously, and eyesight. So so when when did you sort of first start noticing that you were short-sighted and, and, and when did, the, I presume, at school, the, the glasses appear? What Roughly what age? Yeah, it was about... Um, 14, 15, around that age, I started to notice my eyesight wasn't as good as I kind of hoped it would be. And so I knew I needed glasses. So I did try glasses for a bit, wore them at school during class when I was having you to know, stare at the whiteboard from far away. But yeah, I wasn't a massive fan of glasses and sport wise as well, obviously. Um, yeah, wasn't a massive fan. So you turned up and with the glasses one day, what did your mates think? Yeah, oh, I got, yeah, I got dogs abuse for wearing them. Yeah, they, yeah. Some people, apparently some people do not see glasses and I'm one of those people. Right, yeah. is that right? And so, so at that stage, obviously you're progressing rugby, right? So um, yeah. were you noticing anything on the pitch at that stage um, that, you know, is affecting you at all? Yeah, a bit. So playing playing in the back three, especially at a higher level, there's a lot of kicking, a lot of high ball catching. Um, so yeah, it's mainly kind of scanning, obviously scanning the whole pitch. You know, from one pit side of the pitch to the other, catching high balls, you do start to notice a little difference. Because obviously, the, the higher level you go, it's all those one percenters that make all the difference. Yeah, it's interesting because at the same, roughly the same age. So when I played cricket, I had a I had a great throw on me, right? So I was all uh, always out of the boundary. It was fantastic. But occasionally, I get the massive high ball, and of course, we're going for the big catch. The interesting thing is, I kept I started dropping these things. Thought, well, I can catch, and I it just couldn't judge this last bit coming through. But of course, that would have been down to my sight, right? And something I yeah. didn't realise. So I guess, you know, in a fullback, that's essential, right? You're getting the high yeah. ball, the pressure's on you. Um, in Scotland, it's going to be raining, right? It's going to be muddy, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. so you were. Yeah. And look, so you went into night lenses because your mum's your mum's a wearer. Um, and so that was great. So it was a natural thing. So you obviously wear them. Yeah. You know, I mean, the weird thing is, is to say, did you notice a difference playing rugby? Because you probably didn't, because you could obviously see. But I mean, so I guess the question is, is wearing night lenses, suddenly rugby was was easy and just continued, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I did I did not start to notice, like as soon as I started wearing night lenses, so at the time my eyesight, it wasn't terrible. Like I could survive without wearing night lenses. But kind of as soon as I started to wear them, like even like once every three, four days, but even once a week, like I noticed a massive difference. It wasn't like I had to wear them every night to see the results. And that was kind of like the main attraction to me was I didn't have to spend every night doing it, even though it doesn't take long. But as a lazy teenager, I literally just had to put them in, yeah, maybe once a week at that stage. And it was, it soared me for the whole week. So that was, yeah, a real bonus for me. Fab. And uh, I mean, you, I guess you play loads of other sports. You mentioned earlier, sort of you play tennis and things like that. Have you, have you noticed the difference uh, the night lenses make just in your, your general playing other sports and other uh, things you do in your oh, life? Oh, yeah. Yeah, massively. The main, to be honest, the main like thing I noticed with my um, eyesight when I was younger it wasn't really rugby. Rugby, God, was very important. I had to wear the night lenses, but it was the tennis actually. 
playing family tennis. And I remember just, oh, just everything was just half a second too slow to react to. And like, it was just like a fuzzy green thing flying at me. And I just remember thinking something not right here. And then as soon as I started putting my lenses, started hitting the ball a lot sweeter. I was no Nadal, but started hitting the ball a lot better and just started to notice a real like big difference. Do you know what? I've, I've got this picture, right? I'm assuming from what I know about your dad playing rugby and stuff, he's quite competitive, right? So I've got this picture oh. of your dad smashing the ball at you. Was that, is that how it was in the Lillian household? No quarter there was, given? There was no mercy in the Lillian household. So it used, <laughs> to be, it used to be me and my brother against my mum and my dad when we were younger and they were a bit younger. But now it, in the last couple of years, it's been me and my mum against my dad and my brother and they just target my mum. There's no mercy. Right? Yeah, they just target my mum. Honestly, my dad just doesn't give, like, still serves 100%. I'm like, what? still drop shots her, still lobs her. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I can no, imagine. Very, very, very I can see the fair. picture. There's a great, there's great stories about Ian Botham, the, the cricketer, like bowling full pelt at his kids. So his yeah. son obviously went into rugby, Liam Botham. But, um, but yeah, you just think that that's fantastic. So look, um, look, with, with, um, so with night lenses, the obvious question is in terms of rugby, um, you know, you, you use them, they're, they're great for rugby. Would you, how would you, would you recommend them to, to other young rugby players coming through and anyone, in fact, anyone playing rugby and, and, you know, why, why would you recommend them? Yeah, absolutely. I'd recommend them because, well, they're so easy to use. Like, as I say, I've told that many of my mates that I use night lenses and they're like, what are they? Like, no one just knows about them, but they're so easy to use. You don't have to deal with any of the faff. Like I was saying to you earlier, like the number of times I've seen another player on the pitch, to, like dealing with a lens in his eye during a game. And that's the like last thing you want to be worrying about. So yeah, I definitely recommend night lenses. They make a big difference and yeah, they're so easy to use. Yeah. We were chatting sort of pre this interview. There's the uh, Ulster number eight who, you know, he, he finally, the medic came on to, to sort his lenses out. Um, and then we backtracked the video and you could see him fiddling with the lenses for six minutes. And I think within that, uh, there were two line outs and, and, um, you know, uh, and one scrum and you think, at, a, at an elite level or any level, you know, if you're, you're playing a match, you don't want to be thinking about your lens. You want to be thinking about yeah, the game, yeah. right? And that's that's the thing. So, and I mean, people call these things game changers. Have, have they been a game changer in your your life? Do you think? Yeah, oh, I would say so. If I didn't, if I didn't wear night lenses and I still had to wear glasses, yeah, for rugby, I haven't wear day lenses for rugby. Yeah, it'd be a different story to me. I couldn't even think about what that would be like because I've just so come so accustomed to wearing the night lenses that. Yeah, it's just like they like I don't really even think about like me as someone who wears lenses because it's like obviously yeah. put them in at night, take them out in the morning, and you know it's as easy as that. I was just going to say that actually, it's quite interesting. A lot of people say whether they wear them for a long time, like you have, it's almost uh, don't put words in your mouth, but I think you're referencing there that you almost feel like you don't have an eyesight problem anymore because you're not yeah. thinking about glasses and things. Yeah, exactly. The... It's not like during the day you know you're not having to think about any of this stuff you literally it's, it becomes just a you know second nature it becomes part of your evening and morning routine for 30 seconds so yeah Fab. brilliant well, listen thank thank you so much uh for your time as look enjoy your time in, in sydney um have a have a great time out there and uh and look good luck with with your rugby career wherever it goes and uh, yeah. look forward to seeing how that progresses. And thanks so much. And look, if you need uh, any more advice and information um, about Night Lenses or indeed want to see any more interviews like this uh, with Jacob, head to nightlenses.com. Thank you.